Okay, this is a graph that we often see uh, used to represent action potential. Um, and let's have a bit of a, a look at this in detail and see how, how this is created and what this all means. So to create such a graph, what we'd actually do is we'd get an electrode and we insert it inside the cell membrane to measure the electrical potential inside the cell, so the charge inside the cell, whether it's negative or positive. And we measure, we measure that voltage here on, on a graph. Now, let's have a look at what the ions are doing at various st stages of this graph. Um, at the first stage, at stage A, we have an electrical potential set up with lots of positive ions on the outside, all the sodium on the outside, and the negative on the inside. And that's point A. And that, that is normally that difference in potential that the cell has when it's resting. Now what happens when it's charged is the sodium gates open and the sodium comes flooding in temporarily making the inside of the cell positive. So let's have a look at that on the graph. So when the sodium gates open here, we see that the sodium comes flooding in making it positive inside the cell. Okay, at point B, when we reach the, um, the maximum threshold, what we see is now the potassium gates open and the potassium comes flooding out again um, a, with the concentration gradient, so it moves quite quickly, and balances out this charge. Okay, again returning it to be negative. Okay, with lots of positive charges on the outside and comparatively negative on the inside. Now it actually overshoots a little bit um, because there's actually some sodium starting to move back in as well and gradually the cell um, during this refractory period down here returns to um, its resting potential um, with all the sodium on the outside and the potassium on the inside. And during this time here there's very um, little charge or the, oh, sorry, very little ability for the, the, the cell to be excited or, or stimulated because the sodium and potassium haven't re restored their balance. So looking at all this uh, on our more detailed graph, uh, we're, me we're measuring uh, voltage in, in millivolts. We have a resting potential here that, that's, that's really set up um, with the, 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 the potassium, uh, uh, sodium potassium ion gates that's putting all the sodium on the outside um, and that resting potential inside the membrane is negative. Um, if we can get a certain level of stimulation above this, um, this threshold, the membranes, the sodium ions will depolarize, all the sodium comes flooding in with the concentration gradient, it's repolarized with the potassium um, and for a while it's below, it's well below um, that threshold that we'll need to stimulate the membrane and that's where it can't be stimulated and ensures the, the, the impulse moves in one direction. Um, and then we return to this resting state when the, when the sodium potassium return to original levels. Good luck with uh, studying your action, action potentials.